Okay, so t what are we looking at here? This looks like a, 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 flat, a bulkhead flat car, right? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. This is a model die casting slash roundhouse bulkhead flat car. See, I'm learning this stuff slowly, but yeah. I'll get it eventually. And uh, Atherin has recently reissued these cars since Atherin took over Roundhouse. Um, I think they're selling them again. But I've done actually quite a bit of work on this one, um, especially mostly in the bulkhead areas. Uh, I could turn it here for a second. Is that okay. still? Yeah, I can still see that. Let me, let me zoom up to it and see what you're going to show here. Is it something on the end or what? Yeah. Okay. I've. Uh, Basically, I went through and got rid of all the molded-on grab irons and replaced them with separate wire grab irons. Um, got KD58 couplers on it. I could have uh, told you that. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know I do that at every, all of them. Um, I put a trainline air hose, uh, uncoupling lever, which is a, I think it's a Plano part. Okay, now hold on a second. Now this looks like it's added on too, right? Yeah, that's a crossover walk. platform. It's a Plano etched metal part that I added. Um, it's got a KD brake wheel and a little piece of chain that I found for a brake chain. And I, I did leave the original um, the ladder ladder because one, it's a heck of a lot of work to replace all those little rungs, and I, I thought it looked okay because they are actually separate. What about those grab irons? Those look like they're smaller than regular plastic. Um, they are, yeah. These are um, these are wire grab irons, and actually these these three down the bottom I think are from Titchy, but the, this one up here is a little shorter, which is so I had to actually custom bend that one out of brass, and these two I custom bent out of brass also because there wasn't they're not any standard size. Um, and then I also used some uh, Detail Associates stirrup steps on the car. Other than that, there's little to no weathering done here. It looks like you may have done the wheels, or did it come like that? Uh, no, I did paint the wheels. These are actually new wheels also. These are, um, this this one has 88 tread, which is the semi-fine scale wheels. Um, and uh, I think these are the original MDC trucks. Okay. But, um, and I did actually repaint the bulkhead ends after I did all this work. Um, and uh, as you can see, the yellow is not quite the same, but I think once I get the car all dirtied up and weathered, you won't really notice that. Yeah, I can see like right here, there's a stripe, huh? Yeah, it's just this a very... Is, this is brighter and this is, it looks more like plastic Yeah, this here. is the, this was a pre-painted car and um, I didn't want to change the paint job, so I just, um, just painted on the ends only. Yeah, I'm um, sure you won't be able to tell once it's weathered. Yeah. I mean, besides, you know, that's something that could happen. I mean, it could look like that on the track. That's possible, yeah. You never know. With the things that cars go through, maybe some joker tagged it over here, so they wanted to paint over the, the tag, and it was slightly slightly different. Who knows? Yeah. I also did a, just a little bit of brake detail on here. I added um, pretty much, these are the stock pieces, but I just added some piping. So I don't know how well that shows up since this is black and I haven't weathered it yet. But um, just a little bit. You can't see too much of it down here, so I, I'm not one of those people who wants to spend a lot of time on the underbody of something that you can't really see. But anything that that shows while it's going down the track, I figure, is worth doing. So I did add a couple. There's a couple of little wires here that do actually show from the side, which I think make it look kind of neat. Okay, so this is a car that was on uh, one of our weathering videos, uh, the detail and, detail and weathering. I think it was volume two. This it was car. volume two. It was one of the last ones. Yeah. And this this is actually a plastic um, deck that I painted to look like wood, and I was pretty happy with the way this came out. So my original idea, this this is by the way, is a another uh, roundhouse car that I did a lot of detailing on. It's a Chicago Northwestern X Railbox uh, gondola. But um, anyway, just showing that for comparison. Um, Oh, I, that's the rail rail gone. Yeah, the rail gone car. Rail gone. I remember that. So I was originally thinking that I would do the same thing to this, just with paint. Um, but I don't know if these show up. I noticed that on these roundhouse bulkhead flat cars, there's these little mold mold circles, and there's like a dozen of them or something on this car. They're all over the place. Like a dozen on each side. Yeah, there's quite a few, and they really. I, you know, I didn't want to have to fill all those in 
because they're a little bit indented, so you'd have to actually putty them. And, and I started to realize that was going to get into a heck of a lot of work. Fortunately, um, Laser Kit, or American Model Builders, makes a nice kit for this. This is part number 398, and it's a laser cut wood deck, and it also includes um, planking for the bulkhead ends in the inside. Oh, I get it. I was wondering what those little squares over there are. Yeah. So I have another one here that I've uh, pre-stained with some Builders and Scale uh, silverwood just to sort of pre-weather it a little bit since I haven't done any other weathering on the car, but I figured it'd be better to use the chemical stuff on it before I stick it on the car so just to, in case it messes up the paint or something. Um, and this is supposed to be peel and stick, so let's see how it works. Have you not used this before? I have not. So this is a new adventure. Um, a new adventure on the TSG Multimedia Podcast. Yeah. How so, exciting is that? Now everybody's going to see this for the first time. Yeah, if you can get the backing off. I guess. Oh, it's, it's going. Okay, there it goes. Oh, wow, that's really sticky. It looks like it anyway. So, now, now, be very careful. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I guess you just kind of position it and stick it down. Does that look like it's aligned? Oh, yeah, look at that. I mean, it's it was really made for this, wasn't it? It was. It's made, it made right specifically for this car. Thing. So let's just stick it on. That was easy. Yeah, it is pretty easy. So with the the other little end pieces stick on too? Yeah. And if you have... Huh. Now, some bulkhead flats don't have the wood on the ends, so you could always leave that off. Um, but this particular UP car, which is actually... This model isn't 100% authentic, um, yeah. but it's it's fairly close. That happens quite often, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but anyway, the, the car that I was sort of modeling this on even though it's not 100% accurate, has the wood ends. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on too. It's kind of neat though. It's got these little like uh, nail holes or something in there too going down. So it's very detailed. Yeah, we'll see if we can zoom up to that. See, now we've, we've zoomed up the camera. You can totally see those little nail holes. That's really, really detailed. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to put the end piece on. The same thing, it's just peel and stick. That's kind of neat. I, I wouldn't have thought that they would make something peel and stick. I thought you'd always have to, you know, glue everything. Well, that's it. Simple as that. And it actually looks pretty good, too. Yeah. And one more end. It all touches here. Yeah, that's... That's pretty cool. I'm just going to make sure it's straight and lined up, and then just press it on careful of any of the detail on the end, especially if you've done any work to the car like I have. So what else will you do to this car besides doing your, you know, your wash and weather? And That's pretty much stuff? it. This car, unless I put a load on it of some kind, this, this car is pretty much um, as tricked out as I'm going to make did, it. Did you intend to do anything else to the, to the boards? Uh, yeah, I'll probably, what I'll probably do is use some, as we, um, I think on the, uh, one of the, or well, on both of the weathering videos, I use oil paint stains. Oh, right. Making my own, basically just using some paint thinner and, and some artist oil paint, you can create stains kind of on the fly just by making the paint, you know, not using too much paint, using a lot of thinner. Yeah, I remember and, that also made the, the details stick out a lot better. Yeah, so I'll probably go through and, and highlight some individual boards so they're not all the same color. And then I'll probably also use some powders on it to, uh, you know, make it look dirty. Even now it looks good just with that, what is it called? Silver? Silverwood. Silverwood, yeah. Remember yeah. we use that on the on one of the detailing videos. Yeah, you can tell what it, this is the part as it comes out of the bag here and it's pretty, you know, just looks like new wood. Yeah, it's kind of glaring off of the light. Okay. There we go. Now you can totally see it. Yeah, so this is the new part and it's just still in the package. Um, and it looks like basically like new boards. So the silverwood gives it that little bit of an age look like the wood's been exposed. And, you know, these, these flat car decks are out in the weather constantly. So, you know, they, they shouldn't look, unless the car is supposed to be new, um, they shouldn't look new. You know, I, I don't think I've ever noticed a car that looked brand new. 
it's on pretty any yeah. of the trains that I've ever seen. I've noticed engines look like they've just been washed sometimes. Yeah, well, freight cars, I don't think they ever yeah. washed them. You know, once in a while they repaint them if oh. they really have to. Well, there's a business for you, Dan's freight car washing yeah, service. I don't think I get much business. Railroads don't care. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> that wraps it up for this podcast. Make sure you tune in or click in or whatever you subscribe. That's subscribe. it. Subscribe. Make sure you subscribe next time, and we'll see you then. Thanks yeah. for watching. Yeah, thanks.